Hello and welcome to the Stock's Kitchen. Today we are going to make a chicken pie, but not with a crust, with a potato topping. So here we have four cloves of garlic crushed, two breasts of chicken chopped, we've got four banana shallots chopped up, we've got 75 grams of low fat creme fraiche, we need some plain flour, some Dijon mustard for the sauce. We also have um, about three sprigs of thyme with the stems taken off, but you can use dry thyme, it wouldn't make any difference. There is 400 grams of kale. We need some olive oil to brush over the um, potatoes. We've got 250 uh, mils of chicken stock, and we have a can of cannelloni beans. Start by lightly spraying a large uh, non-stick pan. I use spray light, you can use whatever you, you fancy. Into that we're going to put the onions, the shallots, and we're going to put them at quite a low heat. We're going to just brown them off a little bit. There we go. do is just soften them up a little bit. It's two or three minutes. Okay, once that's softening, what you're going to do is you're going to add the garlic, which has just been crushed with a flat of a knife. again one or two minutes. Into this we are going to add the chicken. And to this, we're going to add a tablespoon and a half of plain flour. Now, this you want to make get sort of brown and coated. Chicken gets nice and brown. Okay. Once your chicken's browned, you're going to use just a small amount of your stock just to deglaze the pot the pan to get all the nice bits off the bottom and off the sides because they all add to the flavour. More. Once I've done that, I'm going to add the remaining stock. I'm just going to bring this to the boil. I'm going to just take all the nice and gooey bits off the spoon. Turn up a wee bit. Okay, once it comes to the boil, what we're going to do now is turn it down slightly. And we are going to add some of our other ingredients. The creme fraiche. And I use um, low fat creme fraiche just to keep it a bit healthier. I'm going to stir that in. I'm going to add half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. <laughs> oh dear. And then I'm going to add the thyme. Again, you can use dry thyme if you want, I've used fresh. It 
it's a little bit just giving some flavor. I'm now going to season my mixture in the in the pan. Bit of pepper. nice mixture I am going to add all the kale. Now it looks like a lot but it should go down a bit just like spinach does. And lazy I use chopped kale. for a few minutes get to get some heat through it and then the last thing to go in here is a tin of cannelloni beans that has been drained we're just going to heat this through before we transfer it to an oven proof dish and that is the base for your chicken pie. We'll transfer it into a large oven proof dish. Looks good. Looks good. Smells nice. Right. On the top of that, I'm going to put 500 grams of potatoes that have been sliced. Now I'll leave the skins on just to turn my onesie. Flat these all the way down your casserole. And when you've done all of this, you're then going to brush it with olive oil just to give it a bit of colour when it's in the oven. Oops. Any bits that was less generous with the potatoes, I'll just go back and backfill them a wee bit. I really don't want to see the chicken through this. Okay, I've got a few more wee bits, but I think I'm just going to leave it there because I don't want them too thick because I want them to be able to cook. Now, you have a choice now. You could either brush them with olive oil or you can spray them with low fat spray. It's entirely up to you. I am going to brush them with some olive oil. In here I have half a tablespoon of olive oil and I am going to brush this across all my potatoes. Now these will go beautifully golden brown in the oven. That's now ready to go into the oven at 180 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. Okay, after 30 minutes, 35, maybe 40 minutes just to make it brown, you take it out of the oven and it should look a bit like this. And here we have one serving of chicken pie. Enjoy. <laughs> 